Welcome back traders to our last of the Fantastic 5 setup which is called the Quasimodo Manipulation in short form we call it the QMM As we all know that QMR is a very high risk setup So this is the chance for the market movers to manipulate the QMR traders to fall into the trap and hit the SL However, in Bystra setup, we will learn that if in case our QMR setup has failed We will have a way to counter it so let's get started guys so let's look at the introduction to the qm manipulation so qm manipulation happens when a setup qm has been broken by price right so what it says here uh, let me draw you a structure we have for example we want to have a qm for sale right so we have the high low high high price come back down lower low so for a normal qm R trader we would always set a po here isn't it However, when price comes back here, it doesn't straight away go down. It makes a base here. It makes a base. Okay, really base ready. And then price shoot up. Price shoot up. Okay, hit our SL on the head of this QM. So this is what we say when the QM price has been broken. Once the price has been broken, there are a base alongside with the left shoulder. Then this will be a good chance for us to come and counter back on the continuation for buy. As I said earlier, price will normally leave an entry point, either a ready base rally at this point or drop base drop if you want to sell, align with this left shoulder for us to counter entry when price come back to this area, this rally base rally here, and will go up. So we have to be aware of QMM. Not all QM manipulation we should entry. The one which only has the confirmation of engulf or reversal then only we can N3. Let's look at the SOP for QM manipulation for a sales setup. As we can see here, there's a structure for QM, which is this one, the low, high, lower low, higher high. So normally on the QMR, we always sell aligned with this left shoulder. Instead, the price didn't react to this left shoulder and make a base, drop, base drop, and continue downwards and broke this low below the QM head structure so first remember guys the price has to break the QMR structure which is already now second it has to create a drop base drop structure okay for sale and third it have to break the lower low of the QM which is the head of the QM so one these three is available then we can look for the sell setup of QM manipulation so first of all, we draw the line, the horizontal line, line with the left shoulder, which is the low here, and mark the zone of the drop base drop. So make sure that the zone of this drop base drop, which is the candlestick body, has to be aligned with the entry point. The entry point is this horizontal line. This is where the area that we will set our PO. Okay, and make sure, guys, you have to make sure that. On the higher time frame, we must always have an engulfing candle and make sure that the setups are in the engulfing candles body, not on top of this week. At the bottom here is fine. All right. At the bottom here or this area is fine, but not on top of this week. Okay. So price will then react to this area and continue downwards. Now let's look at the QM manipulation SOP for buy setup. So same goes with the structure. We have a high, low, higher high, lower low. Now price has broke the QMR structure and it has created an entry point for us which is the rally, base rally for buy setup. And at the same time, price has broke the higher high of the QM head. Therefore, with these three, we can see that this is a potential QM manipulation for buy setup. First, remember guys, we always mark the horizontal line first. Okay, on the left shoulder, align with the rally base rally. We mark the zone. So the rally base rally on the base itself, we mark the whole zone of the body of the base and make sure that the entry point is aligned with the rally base rally. Because the entry point here is where we will set our PO 
and remember guys confirmation on the higher tf is very crucial confirmation multi time frame analysis this is the key so if the setup is in the body of the engulf of the candlestick then this is a low risk setup if the setup is at the weak area on this side it is considered high risk and i wouldn't even consider to take it but if the setup is somewhere around here it is still fine as long it is above this zone okay above this zone is fine not here guys remember yeah there are three steps to entry in the chart for qm manipulation it is very simple first remember guys draw the entry point using a horizontal line at the left shoulder must be aligned together with the drop best drop or the rally best rally second mark the zone mark the zone so if there's a bearish candle then you have the bullish candle then you have the bearish candle so we mark this zone okay the rally best rally this base this is the base this is the zone that we mark if the setup doesn't have an engulfing on the higher time frame then the setup will consider as a very high risk please when there is no confirmation do not enter on the trade so how do we use the confirmation for qmm to lower down our risk of entry first is the key the same thing that we always come back again it is the multi time frame analysis secondly it is compulsory to have an engulfing candle at the higher time frame and third the setup has to be at the body of the engulfing candle and never at the wick or at the shadow of the engulfing candle. This will consider as a very high risk. Alright, so let's move to the chart and I will show you some setup with a good confirmation. Let's go guys. Guys, we are back on our trading view chart. Here we can see at the pair AUD JPY on the M15 chart. There is a potential QM manipulation setup. First, let me mark for you the supposed QMR structure, which is the low. This is the low. High. Lower low. This is the higher high. So price was supposed to react to this area and then continues to go upward. Instead, price, the first SOP is to break the structure of the QMR. Second, the price has made an entry point for us, which is the drop best drop on this area, which is aligned together with the left shoulder here and continue downwards. And the third one, price has broke this lower low structure, which is the head of the QM. Therefore, the three SOP for QM manipulation have met. So what should we do now next is to draw it. First, we mark the horizontal line aligned with the left shoulder. Second, we mark our entry zone on the base of this body. See the drop base, this is the base and drop. So we mark this body and it is aligned with our entry point. And thirdly, we have to go to the higher time frame to check for our confirmation whether we can see any engulfing. So let's go to the hedge 4 time frame. There we go. In the hedge 4, I can see that there is a bearish engulfing. Okay. Why do I go to the H4? If we can look at H1, I can't see anything. M30, I can't see anything. But at the H4, I can see that there's a bearish engulfing as our confirmation. So I'll change back to our M15. And let's just wait for the price to react to this area. As we can see, the price has finally come back to this area, react and continue on the dark trend. Okay. As you can see that the price has react from here to our supposed TP, this area. It is around close to 60 pips. So this is a very good uh, win ratio rewards for our setup. Alright guys, so you are required to do another 5 screenshot of QM manipulation assignment. Doesn't matter whether it's a buy setup or a sell setup. Most important part, remember, we need to have the SOP of the 3 things. And then how to draw the three things. Remember those guys. Please do include your confirmation in your assignment. Once you are done, save it in the folder. 
Once all of this course you have completed, you will then submit later on for our review. See you at the next class, guys.